для предстоящего путешествия человека необходимо The animals are placed into special cabins. During the actual flight, these cabins will be provided with different recording devices. The cabin is placed in the nose of the rocket. On the right, a nut is floating. This indicates that the rocket is now in a complete state of weightlessness. The cabin has descended uneventfully from an altitude of more than 125 miles. The four-legged passenger feels quite well. The dog's names are Muha, Laika, and Algina. These dogs were especially trained with special equipment for their space travel. Recordings of the heart function, the blood pressure, and the respiration rate were performed. Courageous Algina has already been twice in the rocket at heights beyond 200 kilometers or over 125 miles. But the choice fell on Laika because she showed better aptitudes during preliminary tests. This is the cabin for Laika. It has been comfortably outfitted for her flight. On the sides, one can see chambers with plates that are treated with active chemical Compounds. These plates release the nexus, necessary oxygen, absorb CO2, and excess humidity. On this chamber are control apparatuses connected to the leads on the body of the animal as well as the apparatuses for the recording of temperature and air pressure in the cabin. These are the containers for the necessary water and food supply. During the training period, Laika was familiarized and became well accustomed to her cabin. Preparations for the launching of the second Sputnik is nearing the end. This is how the Sputnik will look in its early planned trip around the world. Last preparations. During the flight, 
Through the Earth's atmosphere, the apparatuses will be covered by a protective cone. Once Sputnik will enter into orbit, the protective cone will be released and the automatic timing mechanism will start the radio...